I'm always curious to know what black women will do or would talk about if they didn't have to take care of everyone else. My name is Dainty Smith and I'm a Toronto-based storyteller. I'm an actor, I'm a playwright and a burlesque performer. So around 10 years ago, I founded a burlesque troupe called Les Femmes Fatales for Black women and femmes of color. When the coronavirus pandemic hit, I think I was shocked like everyone else. And then things really sort of hit home when I realized I would have to cancel my Afrofuturism series show that we had planned and I had already curated and had all my artists for. And so it felt like, you know, a little bit of a, uh, a cruel joke or a mean joke that I had dared to imagine a future in which the people who are told that they don't survive, survive. I had dared to imagine a burlesque series in which not only did we survive, but we thrive. I want to believe that this is a world that loves black women and loves black femmes. I, I really want to believe that. I'm not quite sure if that's true. And which is part of why I started my troupe, Les Femmes Fatales, for black women and femmes of color. Um, because I wanted a troupe and a collective of black, black women, women of color, um, of folks who are trans and non-binary, who felt a sense of holiness in our femininity and in our blackness and a sense of defiantness about moving and living and loving in this world. And I wanted burlesque and I wanted the politics of what desirability is and beauty is to look like me. I was really inspired to do burlesque because of Josephine Baker and Dorothy Dandridge and Eartha Kitt. Those are the women that inspired me to be daring enough to imagine that I was beautiful and lovable and desirable and worthy and that I could get up on a stage, any stage that I had a right to be there. We forget how necessary it is to see yourself as someone who's beautiful. And I would remind people not to underestimate what burlesque is. On the one hand, it's a bunch of pretty girls and pretty femmes on a stage and pasties doing high kicks. On the other hand, it is so much deeper than that and it always has been. At its core, it's rebellious and it's political and we should never forget that. I think because I was doing a series around hope and possibilities, it does feel a bit gut-wrenching realizing that I, as a Black, queer, bisexual woman, is living through a double pandemic. I'm living through a racial and a viral pandemic. This has been a year of reckoning. This is the year of revelations and it's the year of reckoning. And it means that I'm not able to ignore how precious my life is, even if the world is. And so, I have to continue to make art. I have to continue to tell stories that center black feminists because now more than ever, it seems as though that is my life purpose. <laughs>